Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI. And this is a 32-year-old male who has complained of shoulder dislocations. He had one recently. And we did an arthrogram here, and we can see that the fluid we put into the joint is white, and it's filling up the joint. So this round ball to get oriented is the humeral head. This thing that looks like a golf tee is the glenoid part of the scapula. The scapula goes way back over here. There's some muscles in the front, muscles in the back, deltoid muscle around the outside. You see that little dot is the biceps tendon here. And we can see where we've injected. We put the contrast right into the joint right here, and it filled it up with the white fluid. And on this view, we can see what is going on. Number one, we see that the cup here, the glenoid where the humeral head sits, is slanted backwards just a little bit. Instead of being straight or horizontal, 90 degrees to the long axis, it's sloped backwards, and we call that a negative glenoid version. You can kind of see how when it's slanted backwards, the humeral head, instead of being held on nice and uh, straight, is uh, able to sublux posteriorly because this is slanted backwards. And the glenoid doesn't have a nice cupped appearance. It's pretty flat back here. So this is an abnormal configuration called a posterior glenoid version. Again, this cup is flat and slanted backwards, and it lets the humeral head more easily go backwards. So it looks like they've had a prior posterior shoulder dislocation, and we can see that from couple things. Number one, we see a defect here in the front of the humerus. It looks like a, a broad defect. Instead of being a round contour like back here, it has a concavity. So this is an impaction injury, an old one, where this went backwards and smacked into the back of the glenoid here and fractured the front and made a defect. And then it went back to normal position. And this probably has happened several times where it's gone backwards, hit, come back into place, and notched out a, an area here. And in the back, we have a corresponding injury here. Let me zoom that on up. The back of the glenoid is thick and irregular here. Instead of being nice and clean, it's kind of thick and foggy. So this is a chronic tear of that posterior joint capsule where it attaches to the bone. This has been torn off, and this thicken has this chronic periosteal thickening and tear of the joint capsule. And also maybe the labrum here. The labrum is a little black wedge that goes around the rim. In the front, it looks nice and clean. In the back, it looks like there's a little vertical band of brightness, which is fluid going in. So this is looks like a tear of that posterior, we call capsulolabral complex, the joint capsule, and the labrum where they blend together is torn right there. And again, this is a classic findings for a posterior shoulder dislocation. Normally, people dislocate anteriorly, so this is pretty rare. And again, this is probably related to this um, abnormal slope. And again, we get this defect, which we call a heel sex injury. And the uh, heel sacs normally is in the back because they dislocate the other direction. Because this is in the wrong spot in the front, we call this a reverse heel sacs because it's in the opposite spot. So this is a reverse heel sacs impaction injury of the humeral head associated with repetitive posterior shoulder dislocations, laxity of the posterior joint capsule, chronic partial tear of the joint capsule, and capsulolabral complex. And again, this negative glenoid version. And that's it. Thank you so much.